In a survey conducted for the Men's Health Forum, 34% of men said they would be embarrassed or ashamed to take time off work for mental health concerns. This is compared to just 13% for a physical injury. Meanwhile, more than three out of four people who take their own lives are men. This has led to people calling for an end to the suggestion, man up. There's that phrase, man up, and I absolutely hate it. It's, it's a disgusting phrase and it, it shouldn't be used. And you see it time and time again, you know, parents telling the kids to man up, um, especially young boys. And that sets them with this, this unhealthy um, ideology that actually they need to keep their personal problems silent. They need to have that stiff upper lip when what they really need to do is tell people about the problems, open up get everything out on the table because you don't find a solution to something by hiding it away. But why can it be difficult for men to talk about their feelings? So, uh, actually approaching counselling was quite hard. Um, it, was, it was a difficult leap to take. You know, ad admitting to, you, to yourself that you've got issues is hard enough. Admitting to other people is a struggle. It's, it's a massive battle to actually take that leap. One man told us just how difficult it is to live with depression. To protect their anonymity, we have used a voice actor. My depression is something that comes and goes. It's like the waves on the beach. Some days it's like drowning in it. Some days I'm on the crest of a rave. As a guy, I don't feel I can say anything to anyone. I know what happens to men that do. They're laughed at. They seem to be weak. They're judged. I've seen men lose everything when they admit to having a mental illness. I can't risk that. So I have to almost wear a mask with the world around me. I try and portray myself as one thing to everyone. And some of my friends see little bits of how bad it can get. But I don't ever feel I can let anyone see the real me. The, the the first step's the hardest, like getting over that first hurdle of actually I need help, where do I find help, how do I access it, and, and then accessing that help. Once you've got over that hurdle, everything becomes so much easier. You know, it's, it's not the end of the road and it's, it's certainly not easy, but it makes life easier than it was. Counselling isn't for everyone, but there are other support groups that people can go to. Uh, Andy's Man Club, absolutely fantastic uh, organisation, deals specifically with men's mental health. Um, they have weekly meetings. If nothing else, it helps you get it out there. Once the problem's out in the open air, once other people know about the problem, you can start looking at solving it. This Men's Health Week is hoped that awareness will be raised for mental health, proving that men don't need to man up to be listened to. Kit Taylor, that's TV.